So, when we are talking about Nigeria hosting company and the best hosting company in Nigeria, we'll be looking into these five hosting. So, I want to, when we want to go into blogging and we want to start blogging, we want to start blogging. So, first, you need hosting company after you buy your domain. For all these hosting company, you can also buy domain from them. So, it is a win-win situation. So, this five hosting our best hosting company in Nigeria. Number one, we'll be going for Intel Cloud Hosting. Intel Cloud Hosting is a new website that host that host WordPress and other kind of websites. They are new, but they also have another, they also have advertising company when where publishers get paid for the for the traffic and you can also you can also monetize your website on it. You can also promote. So Intel Cloud hosting, when you want to go to Intel, what are you looking into? The uptime is good. The downtime is very low, very, very low. I've, I've used it for many websites and they are good to go. You know, Intel Cloud hosting is a very good option. And the cost is just 300, you see, at least 300 naira per month. There are also a super light or something like 200 naira per month. And that was a very good website for beginner when you want to host your website and you want to host WordPress as in someone looking into blogging. So number one on our list is InterCloud hosting. And the customer service is very good also. Number two on our list is QServers.net. But QServers.net is kind of, you know, cost than others. They are very good also, very good. And they have the quality and they are good to go. When we are talking about uptime, they are good. When we're talking about downtime, it is a very good thing. They don't have many, they don't have a very high percent of downtime, like 2% downtime is a good thing to go, a good option to go for. Another thing you will be looking into is the cost. They are offering 700 now for WordPress hosting. They are 700 now for cPanel hosting per month. That's also a good thing to do. So our number three on our list is TrueHost.ng. TrueHost is an international company that hosts websites for their their branches for many African countries. But then we'll be reviewing the ng ng true host. You know, when you go for true host, I can guarantee you true a very good uptime and a low downtime. But the only issue I have with true host is the customer service. The customer service is kind of low. You know, except from that, they should be on our number two. So uh, number four will be Nameship. Nameship is also an international company. But you know, the reason they will be making number four here is we are talking about Nigeria on the audience. Payment gateway on Nameship is kind of hard. You know, as in Nigeria, most of cards or of cards, you know, it's it is kind of Add to pay on nameship. Except from that, it's good to go for any kind of hosting. Another one on our list is Blue Host. You know, on Blue Host, Blue Host is also like True Host, or it's also like nameship. They are good to go also. So that's it. You know, you are good to go. You can just go for any any one out of this list, and your website will be done. After this. We'll be talking about how to install WordPress on your host. After buying a host, they will give you access to cPanel. And how can you install WordPress on this cPanel? We'll be talking about it. Thank you for viewing our, for watching our video. We'll be talking about website, blogging, how to make money from blogging, how to out AdSense arbitrage and all those kind of video. But this is just the beginning. Stay with us and stay with us and you will be enjoying.